This is Eamon from Evoker, and in this video, I'm going to take you through how to use 3D. So, from the Quixel toolbar, you just want to press the 3D button, and this is going to launch the 3D preview window. And there's some basic navigation controls, so holding down left click and dragging is going to orbit your camera. Holding down right click and dragging up and down is going to zoom in and out. Holding down the middle mouse button is going to pan your object around. And the next thing I want to do is turn on the user interface. So if I press spacebar, this is going to bring up all the various settings here. Now for this video, I'm just going to show you these settings here specifically. The rest of these settings are dependent on having an active project either in Endu or Didu. So there's a lot of specific things here that require textures or materials in the scene and these settings down here are all to do with post-processing. So for now I just want to focus on these top settings here and specifically I want to show you this setting here so use backdrop is a very important setting because this will show you how the lighting in this scene is being calculated so if I turn this off now and we can see the background so I'm going to use the right mouse button to zoom out just a bit the middle mouse to pan and then the left mouse button to rotate around and you can see as I'm rotating this object around the light values are being calculated from the background image and this is why it's called a physically based rendering system because it's calculating real world lighting values to light this object now as I move around you can see the position of the lighting is changing as I'm orbiting around this object but if I wanted to change the position of the background I can hold down the shift button and left click and this is going to orbit the background image around the object instead so I can change the orientation of the background and get different lighting scenarios and different lighting reflections and such so I'm going to leave it in roughly the default position and I want to come back up here to these settings and I'm going to change the sphere to a cube and I can change it to a hollow cylinder or a flat 2D plane now I'm just going to go back to the cube now and you might need to zoom out and just orbit around just to get it back into a sort of default position here so the next thing we need to cover is just a very basic apply mesh rotation so if you turn this on and if you turn up the X it's just going to rotate around the X axis like that now this is more useful for previewing big objects or you know textured objects uh, you can change the light settings now you don't want to play with this too much because this controls the overall exposure of the scene I, I would highly recommend just keeping this as a default value so the next thing you can do is turn off the image based reflections and use a generic lighting solution here and now we have a couple of different presets so if you just cycle through these presets you can see that there's different lighting and specular values um, there's different shadow types and uh, overall there's a very just different appearance to the background because it's physically based rendering so it's going to draw all these light values from the background and this is the default one the second from the left you see here we can just change these uh, background positions by holding down shift and left clicking so I'm just going to go back to the default one now we can turn on spin as well and this will just orbit the background and of course you can change the speed of the background now this is good just for previewing uh, your final materials and textures and of course you can turn use backdrop back off and we have the gray switched on as the background by default so this G value here just changes the value of the gray in the background so that's it for now um, in the next few videos I'm going to be covering these other sections more in depth um, in particular this one here which is all the various map settings but because this object doesn't have any maps uh, we can't really show you too much of what's going on here